The U.S. Senate is nearing a deal that could inject roughly $370 billion into loan programs for small businesses. Just last week, the government announced the fund was out of money. WSAV News 3's Alex Bozarjian is on your side with the impact on local businesses in the coastal empire. We're going to need meaningful long-term help as an industry to survive. Savannah restaurant owner John O'Morrisano is stuck in government aid limbo. He filed for the Paycheck Protection Program as soon as he could, and just 15 hours later, it ran dry. I still get emails from my bank saying I'm in a queue, and my banker can't tell me whether or not my loan will get processed or not. Owners of Glow's Coffee Corner in Georgetown were denied the same financial help. They say after they filed the application on time, Bank of America created a new form and didn't tell them. Those that really cared about their businesses, that were there on day one, hour one, standing in line, should not be the ones that were simply cast aside because a couple days later they changed the requirements and didn't notify anybody. Officials say many banks didn't have the capacity to handle the influx of applicants. $349 billion were set aside to help businesses with under 500 employees. According to economics professor Richard McGrath, there are 6 million of those across the U.S. And that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Because it assumes the firms only have to pay employees and that they don't have other bills. Georgia Southern's Business Innovation Group is currently surveying the impact of the economic shutdown here in the coastal empire. Right now, many of them are just surviving. This is going to be very difficult for a lot of our small businesses. But what I'm not hearing right now is the complete shuttering. Right? So uh, if this drags on, that is very likely to be an issue. Alex Bozarjian, WSAV News 3 on your side.